when we last left off, when we last left off, I left you on a cliffhanger, saying that I had found something that was much more better than supers or treasure hunts. What could it be? Well, you may remember a few videos ago, I found a whole lo I found a whole um, series of hot ones. I think America have got bored of just Americas having um, exclusive cars because when did the pound land today after signing on and um, pretty much brought out I think their entire stock of uh, what I brought here which is the decade cars 21 pounds worth well I say 21 pounds about 17 pounds worth and four extra cars. So, let us start off. First off, we have the Carbonator. Happy New Year 2012 card. Look at that. That is That was an American exclusive, I think. I remember somewhere on someone's YouTube channel of them showing up in stuff. I'm really hoping that Come a couple of months near Halloween time, we get the Halloween sets from 2012 and we might get the Christmas sets. If we do, brilliant, because that means we have moved up. I think what's happened is these might be the leftovers. You know, when you get sort of like uh, a good build up of sort of like the same type of car hanging on the pegs and they don't put stuff out until it's sort of like done. Well, maybe when they do put new stuff out, they take the old stuff and package it back up and chuck it back at Mattel, saying, these didn't sell, get rid of them. Because, as you can tell, these are long carded. Look, here's the UK ones. These are long carded. And the other thing as well is the fact of, if you look at how much information is on the back there, for choking hazards and different languages, you look at how much is on there. Nothing, other than a poster. So these are definitely from America. Which is great. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. So, next up, there was a couple of new hot ones in there as well. And it looks like the popular one in that set that I found was the GT Racer. I found the L uh, Ray thingy, the F1 type car from the 70s. The Baja Bug, or the Bajar Bug. The uh, Myers Minx and the 4-4 Much. But these ones were very nice. I got the 80s Corvette. With the ultra hots, I love the ultra hots. Great to see them back again. The ones that I'm missing in this collection is the long gone, large in charger, and 76 Chevy Monza. They're the only t uh, ones that I'm missing because on that set they also had a yellow hot bird. That is gorgeous. I mean, that is the sort of thing that I thought I would never find unboxed and probably damaged beyond sort of like recognition but no nope, I found it I've got a code underneath here of E09 so whether that makes any sense or anything but again that's the same and now one extremely exclusive one that I thought I would never find ever it is a dumping A kind of errored I don't know I don't know if you can see that but the back end the dumping bit is sort of not quite on is that an error you be the decider but anyway we I've still to find the 77 Corvette F slash C funny car 77 Plymouth Arrow 83 Chevy Silverado and the 84 Hurst Old still to find those ones but again if these are turning up that's good the other things that were turning up as well, cars of the decade. Like I said, I just cleared them out of every one. I then got home and I sorted them out. And I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six sets of them. I'm not 100% what order they're supposed to go in, but here's the general order that I have found them in. So, first up, now from this one, the ones that I'm missing is the Purple Passion, 62 Corvette, 71 El Camino, 86 Monte Carlo, and the McLaren F1 GTR from the 90s. But the three that I did get from whichever series this is, is the 32 Ford, 
I love the design work on this as well. And there is the car. Beautiful 32 Ford. I love the fact the grill's still painted black as well to indicate the fact that it's a radiator grill and not just a bit of trim. That is lovely. Again, gorgeous car. It is nice to see these coming. By far the heaviest in the collection, the 8 crate van. It's not the 8 crate because the 8 crate has back windows. This, as you can quite clearly see, no windows in the back there. This is an 8 crate van or truck or converted but either way metal base pure metal body this thing is heavy on the side it's got 24 hour parts delivery phil's body shop which is kind of nice and again just a look on the back as well actually i'll save that for the final card more easy that way and then from the noughties we of course have the Lamborghini Murcielago LP 670-4 Super Lawrence. Yeah. yeah, can't quite see the text in the corner there, but that's how much it takes up. And there is another Lambo to add to my collection. Oh yeah. Again, probably the ones that I'm really after is anything that is pre-90s. Because again, I'm a 90s person. Anything that came in the 90s I do love, but I prefer old stuff. And there's the back cover for the set of cars that are here. Now what I'm thinking is that, like I said, these are basically the stuff that gets left over, left on the pegs for ages. But the trouble is though, looking at these pet, looking at these carded stuff, these look like these are brand new. So perhaps maybe, just maybe, Mattel has come to their senses and the UK is going to be getting cars like that in pound stores. Now I've said that, I'll probably go around other pound stores and it'd be like a case of cure collectors there. The other ones they had there as well is old 2012 cards on um, Hot Wheels, Team Hot Wheels uh, stack cards, but well, didn't have any interest in them. Okay, second uh, set, which I have, and in this one I am missing the 49 Merc. 88, uh, 84 Pontiac Ferio, 80, uh, 90s Pontiac Firebird, and the Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. But I do have the Dunce Roadster, cars of the 30s. As you can see, lovely yellow wheels, lovely yellow front as well on there. It's a very nice car, this. Glad I found it. So fine. And this is so fine. I'm surprised this one slipped through the collector's pegs. Because so fine usually is a collector's car. I think it's been re-released in the 2013 uh, boxes. Hopefully to see them soon. Lovely sort of thing. Because the 50s cars were when sort of like uh, people were getting into them. Because like you had your hot rods in the 50s, sort of like being converted from 40s and 30, uh, 40s and 30s cars, and then of course sort of like you had the 50s cars, which was when everybody sort of can go back to when cars were beginning to be nice classics. 69 Corvette with some psychedelic 60ness on it, man. Look at the coolness of that. Yeah. And as you can see, gorgeous red colouring on there. Oh, and the other one I'm missing on here, I've just suddenly realised. Oh, hang on, this is from a different set. This is from a different set. Whoops, a daisy. I appear to have made a bit of a boo boo. That's from the wrong set. That's from a different set. And that one. Well, this must be a second generation, because from. Second, no, this is the same one, but it's got a different lineup. Because you've also got a 56 Ford panel truck. A neat streeter, a Mustang match, yeah. So obviously a uh, different, cause yeah, different lineup. So I'll show these back to back, if the camera will allow it. Actually, I'll do it in one. Okay, so this is the uh, '69 Chevy, and as you can see on the back, you're under the '30s. 
that one there. And then under the 50s, you've got that one. And 70 is that one. But if you look at this card over here, I haven't made a mistake. As you can see, 40s one, 50s one is so fine. And 70s one is another Corvette. So obviously, somewhere down the market line, that one is a different one. Still, it's a nice car to have. And then in the 70s, we of course have the wonderful 75 Corvette Stingray. Lovely green. I wonder if Race Groove's daughter brought one of these, or brought a few of these, because it's in gorgeous green and yellow. Car of the 70s as well. So when disco was invented. And sadly is still around, or, well, give or take. Okay, next up we have another generation. Okay, in this one... I am missing the 33 Ford, the 77 Corvette Funny Car, the Buick Grand National, and the Pro Stock Firebird. But first up, we have the 41 Willys, which has Ease Gumball Shaker on the side. 40s design of the map. I don't know why they've put a map on there. I suppose because a lot of places were turning up on map. It's like, hey, Route 66, great place to go. Strange front end these cars have. I don't want to go there. Anyway. The other thing is the fact that it still has the original fold-out uh, back bumper, or back bar, which is good. A bit of metal flaking on this one as well. A bit of green flaking, flicking paint on it. You just see on the roof there, a bit of green flicking paint. Oh well, still a nice car. Uh, next we have, of course, the classic 56 Chevy Bel Air. The one that most people miss. Usually either people go for a 55 or a 57 Bel Air. The 56 is usually sort of like not one that people go for. People go for them, but they're sort of like not really the icon. It's like in case you either are a 55 fan or a 57 fan. You're a 56 fan? Didn't know they made a 56. Well, I did know they make a 56, but I prefer a 57. Again, lovely racing colours here, because the 50s was sort of like the years of sort of like NASCAR and stuff. And it is obviously a NASCAR sort of car. Lovely car to have. Another groovy 60s car is the 67 Pontiac GTO, with some very cool graphics on the side of this. And yeah, another lovely green colour. And then for the funky psychedelic colours, man. You can see the colours on the green there. It's very nice. And finally, skipping uh, 40 years to the noughties, we have the Ford Mustang GT. Gorgeous looking car, this. Yeah, very basic design of the noughties because again not a lot of stuff was happening in the noughties well not much anyway okay from one uh, singular series uh, out of this lot I am missing the 37 Ford the 57 Ford Thunderbird with porthole 67 Chevy Camaro 70s Hotbird 80s Corvette 90s Dodge Viper and 2000 Dodge Ram 1500 the only one that I got out of this was the 40s Ford. Now this was probably a popular series because I mean you've got you've got the Thunderbird, you've got the Camaro, you've got the Hotbird, you've got the Corvette, you've got the Dodge Viper, and you've got the Dodge Ram. Possibly the 37 Ford might have been popular as well between Ford fans, but again, the only one that I got was this gorgeous boy. Lovely soft top. It's good to see this in here because uh, last time that was seen was in 2007 in the Hot Wheels Stars. I do have a, a good one of that. Okay, next up we have four more cars from a series. Ooh, come on down. Come on down. All right, bring the Camaro with you. The Camaro has to go back up there. This one I am missing the uh, 30s Neat Streeter, 49 Merc, the 50s Ford Panel, the Ford Mustang Match 1, the 83 
Yeah, no, I'm not missing that one or that one. No. So I'm missing a few on this one. So again, we have Cars of the Decade, the 60s, man. Yeah. We, of course, have the classic and iconic 57, uh, 67, uh, 65 Mustang. I will get the date right. In green. Green seems to be a very popular Hot Wheels colour. Along with black and uh, mixture colours. Jumping to the 80s, we have, of course, the 83 Chevy Silverado. And this one's uh, very fancy, because it's even got the original Chevrolet logo on the back end. I love that. Toyota had it, and then Chevrolet had it, and Ford had it. When did they start doing that? Oh, I've also got a bit of an error on this one as well. I've just noticed this. Wow, that is, that is quite an error as well. Yeah, it's not on the other side. Yeah. Driver's uh, just on the front wheel there. There's a bit of a dent. And you can actually see if I tilt it. There's quite a dent on there. It's uh, interesting. The other thing as well is the fact that um, it looks to be a case that this is a running thing with Hot Wheels cars. Because the Nissan Titan has that sort of design on the back. But, hmm. Don't see how. Again, E22 case. Lovely car anyway. And one to add to my collection. Chevy Pro Stock Truck. It has Chevy trucks on the side. Again, 90s sort of design on this one. Again, as you can see, there is the Chevy. Again, another green and green and more green. There's nothing on the front, there's nothing on the back end, but as you can see on the front, there's some cool flames at the front. That is cool. I, li I do like that. And then finally from that one we have the Nauties. We have the 2005 Ford Mustang GT. In a very strange red-black combo. Because it's sort of like got red, black, and then on the roof it's got black and yellow. Very interesting. And then finally, the only one I've actually got of this series, because I can see why, they're in this one, uh, the 32 Ford Sedan Delivery, or 32 uh, Ford Delivery, 40s 47 Chevy Fleet Line, 50s 56 Side Rider, 69 Ford Mustang, 70s Plymouth Roadrunner, Mustang Cobra for the 90s, and 06 Dodge Viper for the noughties. The only one I found was the Camaro Z28. In gorgeous colours, this I love the colours on this. Great 80s graphics, ooh, because that's basically that. That really there, that looks like that is a real sort of 80s design. That because it looks like a TV aerial. And as you can see, there is the Camaro in pale blue with some stripes on the side. And that was it. I did leave a few there. Don't worry. Uh, I think I left uh, a hot bird there because there was another hot bird. Uh, I think there was also another uh, dumping tea, or I don't know. I don't know, I think that might have been the no. I think it was a, another 80s uh, 80s uh, Corvette. But again, like I say, I had to buy it then and there because I probably sort of like would have come in next week or some other time, and they'd all be gone, or it would only be a few ones. I will be going back there Thursday because I've got another course to do, but um, yeah, if that's what they're producing and giving to pound stores, then if you're a UK collector and you fancy adding some to your collection, get down to your local pound store or find a pound store. Hands off Newmarket, that's my territory. If I find you in there grabbing then there's going to be a bit of a rumble. Nah, I'm joking. But like I say, I, I usually go there very early in the morning. So it'd be literally a case of sort of like me camped outside, sort of like pound store. It's like a case of just sit around till nine o'clock. It's like as soon as they open, you know, straight down to the toy section. Ooh, grab, 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 grab. Of course, my wallet might find a bit of a nuisance there. But again, that was 21 quid's worth. And I've got enough money to buy a few more. But like I say, it was just nice. The other thing I brought as well is, if you can just notice, I have added another Ferrero Rocher box to the collection. 
there's uh, no new cars. It's just a case that I had quite a fair decent amount of very shiny good cars that I wanted to sort of like stick in a Ferrero Rocher box rather than have dust exposed on them. Yeah. So that is about it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have even more cars to show you next time. It just depends. So until then, thanks for watching and happy collecting.